Let's say you're in London. You need to get from the London Eye to Buckingham Palace. Taxi! Buckingham Palace, please. We would leave on our right Belvedere Road, left Chichilly Street, oh, right wait. York Road. You know the whole route already. Well, we have to. All London black cab drivers have to have completed the knowledge. We need to know all the streets and roads in London to provide that service. All of them? Oh, OK, let's go see where the Queen lives. London is famous for its black taxis. You need to get to somewhere no sweat because every black cabbie has to pass an insanely hard test known as the knowledge. Like this guy. Hello, my name's Peter Allen. I've been a London taxi driver for nine years. How can I help? The knowledge is the test that you have to pass in order to become a London taxi driver. It's the toughest taxi test in the world. The first thing you have to do is learn what's called the blue book. As a cab driver, it's your Bible. You have to learn 320 routes around London, so that's 640 quarter of a mile areas. You have to learn 25,000 streets and roads within a six mile radius of Trafalgar Square in London. You have to learn every single point of interest, place of interest, apartment building, housing estates, police stations, mosques, synagogues, churches. A few moments later. Clothes shop, furniture shop, china shop, nightclub, bars, restaurants, <sighs> everything, anywhere where a paying passenger may want to go. OK then, let's go to the exam centre. My name is Katie Channels and I'm the Knowledge of London manager. So the exams are several phases of oral appearances. It's basically an interview type situation where you describe the streets and roads, um, attempting to use the shortest distance between point A and point B. So at the beginning we might ask them the name of the theatre, where that theatre is, and by the end of their knowledge we'll expect them to know what is actually showing at that theatre. Whoa. On average, it takes two to four years to learn the knowledge. The best way to study is to go out onto the streets on a scooter. Isn't that right, Abbas? My name is uh, Abbas Akhtar. I've been studying knowledge for about four and a half years now. And my next appearance is in about three weeks' time. It's like a full-time job. You wake up in the morning, go out on your bike a couple of hours, come to the college, study, study, study. And just, whilst I'm sleeping, I'm studying as well. Yeah. One in five who attempt the knowledge actually pass. That's the same success rate as a US Navy SEAL. GPS and sat-navs are banned in the exam, but why not use them on the streets? My GPS is here, and if we get somewhere and we see a road's closed, we need to say, right, that's closed, but I know that if I go left here, that will take me there. If I go right here, that will take me there. We need to be able to do all that, as well as having a conversation with the person in the back and solving the world's problems at the same time. Leicester Square to Big Ben, please. So you'd leave Leicester Square by Irving Street, turn right into Charing Cross Road, go forward to Martin's Place. Thank you.